Welcome to Greg and Mortis's Little World of Horror. This is a Blu-ray DVD slash Halloween box set Blu-ray Deluxe Edition update plus some other goodies. I know it's not Saturday or Sunday when I typically release, but very excited. Um, I'm going to open up my Deluxe set. First, this is... Let me go ahead and do this. Alright, there's my Deluxe set. And then I got these three goodies right here. So there you go, that I'm going to be showing you guys, the Halloween set and that. But uh, I will be opening my Halloween set for you, the fans, to look at. I know everybody and their brother's uncle's already done it, so this is not going to be nothing new. But I'll go ahead and open it and show you what I got. Even though, like I said, I know everybody knows, but I'm very excited. I mean, I'm one of the biggest Halloween fans, obviously, that I know. <laughs> I'm, I'm a geek at it. I'm just... A total nerd of Halloween, man. I just love it. The tattoos on the arm, the Michael Myers, they're on the back, Jamie Lee Curtis, of course, and I just love Halloween. And I'm going to get into it. I'm going to open up my box set, the Deluxe Edition, and show you, you know, what all's in it. For those of you that may have not seen the videos that everybody has posted, I will do that for you. And I'm going to show you my other goodies that I picked up. But a uh, very excited man to be able to do this. For me, Halloween, 1978, John Carpenter's Halloween, of course, to me, and I know there's going to be people that will, will debate me in that, and that's fine. But for me, 1978, John Carpenter's Halloween is the best movie ever created. I mean, it's just, to me, the number 10. When you rate a movie 1 to 10, and 10 being the highest, Halloween's 10, 10, 10. I'm telling you, for me, it cannot be touched. And the whole franchise as a whole. So for me, this box set is a dream come true. Um, even though I own, and I may do that this weekend where I'll just show you all of the Halloween collection I have as far as all the movies, the VHSs, the DVDs, the Blu-rays. Um, I'll work on that and see if I can make that video possibly this week and uh, show you how big of a geek I am. But it's just, to me, the greatest franchise out there. And that's not saying uh, the Friday the 13th. That's not saying the Elm Streets and Scream and Saws and all these are not great franchises. I'm not saying that. I love all of them. But for me, Halloween is just my favorite holiday. It's my favorite franchise. So... Very, very excited to have the box set, but before we get into the box set, I'll go ahead and show you some goodies I picked up last night. Two of them Blu-rays and one of them a DVD, and uh, I'll go ahead and show you the DVD. There's only one reason I picked this up, and I'll show you the price of it is why, and I'll explain why, you know, what's going on. But first of all, it's a Saw, this is the Saw Trilogy DVD box set that they had released and now I'm blurring up there in the back of it. But the reason I bought it is it was only $5.99 used. Um, I'm a movie rewards member at Movie Stop, so I actually got it even cheaper than that. But I bought it because of the mask. This is like a 3D. I don't know if you can really see it, but it is like a 3D image. Kind of like the Halloween set they released with the mask in it and the Friday the 13th and whatnot. So I picked this up because it's $5.99, and I, I really do enjoy the Saw series as a whole. Don't bash me. Don't hate me. I know it's not for everybody, but I really do enjoy the whole Saw series, and I will be getting the Blu-ray. The only reason I have not got the Blu-ray collection is because Movie Stop is already sold out of it, but uh, they have some more coming, and it's only $19.99 through them. So I will be having the, the Saw series. Uh, complete series on Blu-ray, and I'll do a video of that when I do get it. Just waiting for them to get it in, but it is Saw. I'm not going to open this box set. All I'm going to do is take the outer plastic off that has it where you know where the price is at. But I'm going to just have this set up as a display. So very excited to have that. All right, now Movie Stop. Every, every bit of what I'm showing you tonight, I got at Movie Stop, and uh, they've got a sale going on right now in my local Movie Stop in Wilmington, North Carolina. Uh, all their Screen Factory titles, pretty much all of their horror right now is on sale. So, man, I, I'm just so super excited. The first one I picked up, 
last night was from Synops Films, and this is you know fairly recent, and it is Curtains from 1983 on Blu-ray, and the reason I picked it up, original price $17.99 new, they got it on sale for $14.99 on Blu-ray, so I didn't want to pass that up. Uh, Synops Films, and if you remember my last video, I showed you that uh, I'd picked up Prom Night, and they done such a fantastic job with it that I wanted another title from them and I've got it I'm gonna take out my trusty knife here if I can get it open my razor knife ba -da -da -da. and uh, let me see here I'm gonna crack this seal open because I want to check I know with the prom night if you watch my video they had the reversible cover art and I'm just curious to see if they actually had that on this one. It's a special edition. Behind every curtain, someone is waiting. Something is watching. And kind of like Screen Factories. They don't put these little, you know, the freaking security seal thing on there. I hate these. I like this Synops does it and Screen Factory don't. I do like Screen Factory Synops. Don't put these things on there, man. They're aggravating. I hate it. There we go. There's what the Blu-ray looks like of curtains. It's pretty cool looking, man. Uh, also, 2004 product catalog inside it. That's pretty cool from Synops Films. Uh, I'm going to have to take my glasses off to see it, but there's their 2014 catalog of all their uh, releases. So I'm very excited to have that. That's a bonus. Uh, let's see what we got on the reverse side. Okay. Alright, you got the cover art, the original cover art of Curtains. They didn't do the reversible uh, cover, but check out what's on the inside. There's the killer with the freaky old lady mask on with the sickle. So that's pretty damn cool. I like that. So uh, very, very cool, even though it doesn't have the reverse cover art. I, I like that. So score with that. So if you hadn't got Curtains... Uh, definitely get it. I'll probably be watching it tonight and see how the transfer is. But like I said, 1983 curtains released by Synops Films. Uh, very impressed with Prom Night, so I'm very excited to have that one. Okay, the next title I got is a uh, Screen Factory release, and it's The Beast Within. Beware. And there's the back of it. And it's been years since I've seen either one of these, but there again, the reason I bought it Regular price sixteen ninety nine. They had it on sale for twelve ninety nine new. So definitely wanted that. Picked it up. Uh, when I get paid uh, next week, I'll definitely be getting some more as long as they've got them in. I know they've got some of the Screen Factory two packs. Uh, also, uh, which board that I absolutely love. I want to get my hands on that one. Um, but see, like I was saying with Screen Factory, they don't put that security, and I like that. I do wish they had this with the slip cover case, but anyways, there's the Blu-ray cover, and pull it out, they do have the reversible art, there's the original, which is pretty dang cool as well, um, don't know which cover I'm going to go with, I kind of, I'm kind of digging that one, fans, what do you think, should I do it this way, or should I keep it the way it came with the Beast Within there, I don't know. Comment below and let me know what uh, you think, and I'll, I'll take the whoever comments the most, whichever one's the most, I'll flip it either way, so just let me know. But there it is, the beast within. Okay, now what we're really here for is the Halloween Deluxe box set, $124.99, uh, because Best Buy had it for $109, I got it for $108. I will not lie, I love this set look. I will not lie though, I really, I'm not hating this cover, but if you've got the um, the special edition, not the deluxe, but kind of the other set that they came out with, it's only 80 some dollars, I love the cover art a hell of a lot more than this one. This one's really cool, don't get me wrong, but I really love the other one, man, with Michael Myers. I'd like to see that one on this one, but you know, I'm not hating on it, I do love it, it's Blu-ray. Once again, bam, 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 and you got your Halloween 1, 1978, all the way through to Rob Zombie's Halloween 2. This, to me, fans, is the holy grail for me of box sets. This was the one that I've wanted for 
since Halloweens have come out in succession that I wanted a whole set with them all in it. Yes, I own them all on Blu-ray, uh, multiple versions of some of them, but I wanted it in a set, and thank God that Anchor Bay and uh, Screen Factory got together, and Anchor Bay allowed them to put it all in a set. It's really cool. Um, cannot wait. So let's go ahead and crack this seal open. I got my knife. Let's see if I can do this. I don't want to cut nothing. So let's go around the edge here, right above the disc, so I don't rip nothing. And here we go, ripping, ripping, ripping plastic. This is kind of like, like a birthday gift slash Christmas gift, man. Halloween is just so important to me, man. So there it is with the plastic off. Now, I've already seen the videos, and I know that this comes off. So, whoops, here we go, losing everything. I'm going to go ahead and take it off because I've already seen what it looks like under it. So, in case you haven't seen it, I definitely want to show you, the fans, what it looks like up under it. And it's got the boogers. <laughs> I call them boogers. Let me get this off of here. There we go. And I'm going to try to leave that sticky stuff on there so I can kind of maybe put it back on there. Now I've seen a guy take this and he tried to take it off and it ended up ripping the bottom of his package so I'm trying not to do that. Uh, can't remember who that was. If you're watching this, I follow you on YouTube so if you're watching mine, man I hate that that happened to you. Perfect! Did not rip! Yay! So like I said, this comes off. This is all it is. is showing all the titles and everything what's on the disc. Now this is the back of it. And I really love this. If you ordered it from Screen Factory, you was able to get the uh, limited edition lithograph. And I wish I'd have went ahead and done that because I'd have loved to have that framed. I'll have to try to buy that. But I really love that, man. Look at so freaking awesome with Michael Myers over here hiding behind the tree. You get a better, closer look up of it. There you go. Man, I just freaking love that. It's just so freaking awesome. And. Man, if anybody has that lithograph and you want to sell it without trying to rape somebody with it, you know, I would love to see somebody that maybe wants to sell it at a reasonable price and I may try to pick it up from you. Okay, so now let's go ahead and open up in here. Uh, first, you get the book, which has the Halloween pumpkin on it that is just freaking phenomenal. There you go. And, uh,. It's got uh, Halloween, The Night He Comes Home by Michael Jingold. There you go, the cover art. And I'm not going to go through every page of this. The back page has Rob Zombie's Halloween. And it's also got like still pics in here all throughout. Rob Zombie and Derek. And there you go, with Tyler Main, some from Halloween, H2O, or actually, yeah, H2O and Resurrection there. There's Jamie Lee. Uh... Let me find some scenes in there. Here we go from Halloween 4. Bam. And of course, opening second page is John Carpenter, the man, one of my favorite, all time favorite directors of all time. So there he goes, the book. All right, let's look at the disc here. We'll start with the first one. And what I loved when I saw people doing videos, and I appreciate everybody doing videos, it's really awesome. What I loved was the fact that instead of the traditional Blu-ray blue box, this has got the black box, which I think is awesome. Back of it, just like a standard, you know, plain Jane Blu-ray look. I mean, I'm not too overly, like, pleased with the cover art, even though it is the original no slip cut or reversible slip. That's okay. It's all right. Still, it's <laughs> still the Blu-ray. There's your disc. Now, the reason there's two discs in here, the Deluxe Edition come with 15 discs, which everybody already knows that. You get the original on Blu-ray, but on the second disc is supposed to be, I believe this is the television version that's uh, on Blu-ray. Uh, let's see, audio commentary, feature ed, cut above the rest, and I believe that's the way it worked out. I think that's the way it's supposed to be, not for sure. Uh, just says special features, Audio commentary with co-writer, director John Carpenter, and actor Jamie Lee Curtis. New audio commentary with director of photography Dean Cundy and Tommy Lee Wallace and Nick Castle. The Night She Came Home featurette, which was awesome. I, most of these are just rehashing from the other Blu-rays and DVDs 
they did put some new stuff in here to kind of amp up uh, you got on location 25 years later so most of this I've already had um, and it also has the TV version footage this too is the audio commentary with John Carpenter, Jamie Lee Curtis, Deborah Hill and then you got the uh, cut above the rest theatrical trailer so there you go that's disc one let's look at disc two there is disc two original artwork and there we go open up two discs and I hate when they don't freaking spin these there we go and looks like let me check the one but there you go there's the disc blu-ray DVD uh, both these are blu-ray so I don't know why one of these Okay, this is the television version and the original. You got the original on Blu-ray Halloween 2, and then you got the TV version. I was thinking that was supposed to be Blu-ray, but for some reason it's DVD. Uh, audio commentary with Rick Rosenthal and Lee Rossi. Uh, then you got, that's the theatrical version. You also got a commentary with Dick Warlock, who is a freaking awesome dude, man. Such a cool guy. Uh, you also got the uh, theatrical version and television cut with added footage not seen in theatrical version. The Nightmare Isn't Over, the making of Halloween 2, and uh, featuring Rick Rosenthal, Lance Guest, Dick Warlock, Alan Ho uh, Howarth, Dean Cundy, Lee Rossi, and more. You got The Horror's Hallow Ground by Sean Clark. Uh, deleted scenes with optional audio commentary, Rick Rosenthal, alternate ending with audio commentary. So there you go. But bam alright moving on one of my favorite in the whole franchise Halloween 3 I know a lot of people hate it at your prerogative I absolutely love it think it's one of the better of the whole franchise even though it does not have my hero Michael Myers but I really think it's a stellar stellar creepy creepy horror movie if you really think about it and people have bashed it and even true Halloween fans say they hate it because Michael Myers wasn't in it, but I'm telling you that for me, what is more scary, or that doesn't even say, that's not even proper English, what is scarier than to have a moment where at a certain time at night, every kid that owned the shamrock masks, which are the three masks right here on the back, if you've never seen it, what would be creepier than every kid tuning in to uh, a program at 9 p.m. on Halloween night and if they're wearing that mask they would immediately be murdered is what it boils down to basically their heads would be exploding with bugs and snakes and spiders that to me is one of the scariest plots of a movie ever and Halloween 3 is the one that done it bash me if you want I will not argue with you when you try to comment and try to hate on me for me, it's one of the better of the franchise. So Halloween 3, uh, special features, commentary with Tommy Lee Wallace, standalone, the making of Halloween 3, Season of the Witch, with Tommy Lee Wallace, and one of my all-time favorite actors, Tom Atkins, God, he's the man. Stacy Nelkin, also Dick Warlock, Dean Cundy, and more. You got Horrors Hallowed Ground, once again with Sean Clark, Steel Gallery, Theatrical. All right, moving on. Get to Halloween 4, one of the best opening scenes of any of the Halloween movies is in this one. One of the best cinematic opening scenes. Man, I absolutely love the way Halloween 4 opens up. This, of course, stars Danielle Harris as the little old girl. Love that movie. Laurie Cornell or Ellie Cornell as well. Alright, this one right here. Open it up. There's your disc. Number 4. And this one right here, special features, you get audio commentary with actress uh, Ellie Cornell and Daniel Harris, audio commentary with Dwight Little, and also author Justin Beam. Special shout out to my buddy Justin Beam, man. I love Justin. He is such a kick-ass dude that um, I just, I, I respect Justin Beam, and I'm glad this is on here because I cannot wait to revisit that. Love Justin Beam, man. Mad props to you, buddy. There's Halloween 4. Alright. Next is Halloween 5. This is also with Danielle Harris and Ellie Cornell, and of course, all these with Donald Placence. Man, quit. It's like you open them up and the discs are upside down. Damn, you can't make the discs go straight when you put them in. There you go. 
All right, this one has the uh, audio commentary with actor Don Shanks, who played Michael Myers, and also Justin Beam. Another one, this is rehashed from the Scream Factory sets, or the Anchor Bay, the ones that Justin Beam helped. Very, very kick-ass damn commentaries. All right, and then you got audio commentary with Dominique uh, Athenian Gerard, who was the director of Halloween 5, and actors Daniel Harris and Jeffrey Lamman. Also, Halloween 5 on the set, and Halloween 5 original promo and theatrical trailers. So there you go, Halloween 5. Okay, now we're getting into The Curse of Michael Myers, a.k.a. number 6, Terror Never Rest in Peace. And this is one that has been hated on. One of Many fans think one of the weakest of the franchise, and I used to feel that way as well, but the more I watch Halloween 6 or The Curse of Michael Myers, the more I actually appreciate it. I really do love it. Even though it's weird, it's got its faults and that, I still really enjoy this film. And uh, there you go. Two discs, two Blu-rays. You say, why two Blu-rays for one movie? I'm glad you asked, because finally, for the first time ever officially released, is the producer's cut 666 Halloween and it's on Blu-ray and from what I'm hearing from people that already own the set and have watched it looks amazing so I cannot wait. Uh, this has got new audio commentary with screenwriter uh, Danielle Ferens and also Alan Hallworth who was the uh, composer. Uh, you also got new Jamie's story an interview with the original Jamie actress Danielle Harris. You also got new The Cursed Curse an interview with the producers Malik Akkad and Paul Freeman. Uh, new acting scare, a look at the film's cast with actress Mariah O'Brien and J.C. Brandy. Also new is The Shape of Things, a look at Michael Myers' murders and mayhem with special makeup effects artist John Butcher and Brad Harden and actor George P. Wilbur. And George P. Wilbur, I've met him, he is such a cool guy too. Uh, you also got the new uh, Haddonfield's, Haddonfield's Horror which is the sights of Halloween, The Curse of Michael Myers with director of photography Billy Dickens, uh, Dixon and also production designer Brad Raymond and director of photography Thomas Calloway. Also you got new Full Circle, an interview with composer Alan Hallward, new uh, cast and crew tribute to Donald Plaisance. I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, archival interviews and behind the scenes footage, behind the scenes footage approximately 30 minutes, alternate and deleted scenes. Uh, not present in either cut of the film. Also, teaser trailer, Halloween 666, The Origin of Michael Myers, theatrical trailer, TV spot, steel gallery. I'm really looking forward to cracking this open to watch that producer's cut. So there you go. Moving on to Halloween 7, a.k.a. H2O. There you go. This summer, terror, or this summer, terror won't be taking a vacation. I absolutely love H2O, man. It's one of my all really one of my favorites of the franchise such a strong uh addition to the franchise and the return of jamie lee curtis after being gone since number two and you know of course she was you know nowhere to be found in three four and five and she finally met her six also she makes her return there you go h2o and the back of it once again cool image there michael and jamie facing off Special features, you got the new commentary with director Steve Miner, also, and Jamie Lee Curtis, uh, moderated by Sean Clark. Uh, you also got new, the making of Halloween H2O featuring Jamie Lee Curtis, Josh Harnett, Jody Lynn O'Keefe, Nancy Stevens, Adam Hannon-Bird, Tom Kane, editor Patrick Lucier, uh, producer Malika Cobb, producer Paul Freeman, composer John Ottoman, Chris Duran, who played Michael Myers in H2O, uh, Robert Zappia, stunt coordinator Donna Keegan, makeup uh, Brad Harding, and cinematographer Darren Okada. Vintage interviews and behind the scenes footage. Some, some really extra bonuses in there, so really look forward to jump into H2O. Now we're moving into Resurrection, one of my least favorite, definitely, of the whole series. Did not like how this one turned out overall. It's got some moments in it, but really, to me, that one of the weakest of the franchise. And there's the Blu-ray cover of it. Got the faces inside the butcher knife. All right, here we go. Special features. You got the audio commentary with director Rick Rosenthal and editor Robert A. Ferretti. 
You also got alternate endings, deleted scenes, featurette, head cam, storyboard analysis, set tour, production di uh, designer Troy Hansen, set interview with Jamie Lee Curtis, vintage interviews, behind the scenes footage, theatrical trailer, and home video TV spots. Now, like I said, most of the bonus features on all of these have been just brought over from the previous releases. Whenever you hear me say new, that's just the new stuff they've added. Okay, now we jump forward to Rob Zombie's Halloween 1. There you go. There you go. And these are the unrated cuts. Uh, let me open it up. Two disc version. Uh, if I can get it to spin around because it's just, I'm, I'm freaking that way. I cannot stand to see my disc not turn properly. So there you go. Two different covers. Alrighty, special features. Disc 1, you get unrated director's cut audio commentary by writer-director Rob Zombie. Deleted scenes with optional commentary. Altered ending with optional commentary. Bloopers, featurette, the many faces of Michael Myers reimagining Halloween. Meet the cast, casting session, Scout uh, Taylor Compton screen test. Theatrical trailer. I thought Scout Taylor done a really good job in this movie. Uh, disc 2 is the documentary Michael Liz, The Making of Halloween, which is four and a half hours. All these are just rehashed bonus features, nothing new. Uh, so there you go, Rob Zombie's Halloween. And then last of all, the set is Rob Zombie's Halloween 2, Family is Forever. There's the back of it. This is also a two disc set, and once again, I'm having to turn freaking Blu-rays. Ah. There we go, there's your disc looks. Really cool looking with the butcher knife and then the other one with the knife. And that's really a bonus disc, which I'll go over. Let me show you that one one more time. I'm gonna go over this one with you. All right, there we go. So the special features, you got uh, audio commentary, writer, director, Rob Zombie, deleted alternate scene, uh, audition footage, makeup test footage, blooper reel, Captain Clegg, and the Night Creatures music video, and Uncle Seymour Coffin stand-up routines. All pretty entertaining. This one right here, fans, is the complete collection bonus disc. Not really for sure what is on this disc. I, I honestly, I tried to stay away as much as I could. Um, when it was first being released with all the uh, details, I just wanted it to be kind of new. And of course, since the sets come out and I wasn't able to get it ahead of time like others, I did watch some videos, so I kind of know, but I, I've not heard anybody really say anything what's on that bonus disc, so I'm really uh, curious to see what's on it. But like I said, it says the complete collection bonus disc. So very excited to check it out and see what it is. So there you go. There's the inside of the box. It's empty. There's the back once again. Here I go. If I can do this properly, which I probably shouldn't do it this way, but I'm going to just because it's in order and I don't want to mess up my order. I'm going to talk like I'm northern at order. I don't want to mess up my order. Put the DVD boxes in my corner. Got to get them in my corner. That's not knocking on you northerners. Don't, don't hate. Participate. There you go. So now it's back in. And damn, I put them backwards. Son of a bitch. Now they're going from Rob Zombie's Halloween 2 to Halloween, so I will have to take them all out. Anyways, I'll get that corrected. There you go. Halloween set. Bam, bam. So this has been my Blu-ray DVD slash Halloween uh, deluxe edition box set opening. Blu-ray. Thank you for tuning in. Definitely give me a thumbs up if you liked the video. Comment below on some of the questions I had. And uh, stay tuned if you haven't subscribed to me and this is the first time you've ever watched one of my videos. Go ahead and click that subscribe button right here and go back and watch some of my previous videos. Uh, stay tuned because I will have my movie review this week, uh, which will come out on Sunday. Very excited about that. If you haven't listened to uh, episode 82 of Land of the Creeps, definitely listen to that. Myself, uh, Dr. Shock, Haddonfield Hatchet, Jesse Robbins, and special guest Justin Bean broke into Stephen King films and I mean we literally for three and a half hours pretty much talked about every movie under the sun and had some great great conversation get some really good feedback so definitely check out Land of the Creeps I'll put of course the link down here below for my Facebook my Twitter and uh, also for Land of the Creeps so check those out so with that until this weekend and you see me again I'm signing out until my next Blu-ray update so stay tuned to my 
little world of horror. And let me do this. All right. So, Michael, what'd you think of the box set? Do you think the fans should buy it, or do you think they're okay with having their old original Blu-rays and DVDs, Michael? Hmm, so you're not saying much? Was it a killer box set? Is this worth having, Michael? Should everyone own this deluxe set? What do you think? Does that mean you want everybody? So take it from Michael Myers. This is a must-own box set, the Deluxe. If you didn't get the Deluxe, you know, you get two di or two cases with all the movies in it. Go ahead and go extra 20 bucks. Get that Deluxe Edition, Limited Edition. So there you go. Michael says he agrees. He says he's badass and that he loved that the set come out. So with that... I'm signing out for my little world of horror. Until next time. Peace. <laughs>